Hi guys, it's a lovely Thursday evening. Hush, I left my baby behind in his room. He was really behaving cranky all through today. I didn't know why, but I'm happy he's gone to bed. It's about past eight and it's almost bedtime for me. So, because I promised you guys that I was gonna do a video on secrets about human fart, eye opening. Okay, I decided to do this to keep up to my words because you are important to me. Just like baby wealth is important to me, you're also part of my word. Now, I'm aware that a lot of you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and I'm so grateful for that. Namaste, thank you. And for others that have not subscribed, I really do not know what's keeping you. My YouTube channel is all encompassing and for nine reasons you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number one, my YouTube channel talks a lot about grace. Number two, children and parenting. Number three, education. Number four, comedy. Number five, herbs. Number six, lifestyle. Number seven, health matters. Number eight, you. And number nine, sharing life issues life itself so i'd like you to do one beautiful favor for me just like thumbs up leave a comment below turn on the notification bell and subscribe these things make us happy we want to sacrifice more when i say we i mean wealth and i we are teammates remember yeah He's a wonderful theme partner. So today I will be taking you on a lovely topic, but I decided to make a beautiful note so I don't mix my points. Secrets about human thoughts. Points that you should not play with because it's dangerous when you wish that you don't fart because only those that are living farts. I mean, mess in the Nigerian contest. So we're talking about flatulence, we're talking about gassing, we're talking, we're talking about releasing wind from the anus. This is an intestinal wind that passes through your anus. I'm talking about fat right now. Okay, this is the accumulation of gas in the alimentary canal. Flatulence can have causes that aren't due to underlying diseases. Examples include having wind or food intolerance. So I'll be giving you just 30 facts. You can pick up your barrier, your writing material, and jot down something. Number one, when we take in so much sugar or dairy products or even beans, we encounter stomach cramps, we encounter flatulence, we encounter heartburns, and even sometimes acid reflux. Number two, when you have a retable bowl, sun syndrome this is an indication that you have an intestinal disorder that causes pain in your stomach it causes wind constipation even diarrhea number three there are other ways that neutralizes fat that neutralizes mess this fat filtering fashion is a better bet the company that produces it uses activated carbon in its line of underwear pajamas and jeans even cushions to block the irritating smell associated with fat number four there is a pill that claims to make stinking fat smell sweet and it comes to different fla um, flavors we have the chocolate the blueberry the blueberry i mean diverse flavors okay in 2014 a french inventor by the name christian point he invented this beautiful pew. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's crazy, right? Yeah, it is. Number four. Number five. Your fats probably aren't stinking to you as they are to everyone else. So when you go closer to someone else, you'll be so grateful that your fats are not as stinky as theirs are. So you better be grateful. Most animals do not fat. For example, the octopus the soft shell clams, the sea animals or birds. Then we have mammals that are called the slaughters. They do not fat, 
Surprise! Yeah, it better not be. Number seven, one of the most notorious, notorious animals, fatter, one of the most notorious animals, fats, but is not as terrible as the termites. They are tiny, they live in colonies of millions, so when a termite let a half micro, microgram of methane loose per day, it adds up to a lot. It adds, it adds up to a lot, like 20 million tons of methane per year. Isn't God great? When we talk about methane, methanes are trace gas that termites releases as their own fat and they release this gas into the air okay number eight for some animals farting is a genuine matter of life for example we have the balsam popfish fishes this fish they are found in the northern mexico now they feed on algae and can sometimes accidentally ingest gas bubbles produced by these algae this is dangerous if the egg gets into the fish intestine, which makes swimming tough for them. They don't get to swim easily, and it does not help the fat to come out. It does not help them to float or swim faster. Now, if this fat do not come out of their body or out of the system, they just die. Or they could even get attacked by predators at the top of the water. Number nine. It's possible, though unlikely, to spread a disease through farting, especially at close quarters. Number 10. Your smell, your fat smells even worse when you're in the shower. The reason is that when you're in the shower, the bathroom is enclosed, so it's just you and you're naked. So the fats are not able to travel to anywhere else and it remains just there with you. Number 11, fat can be visible in cold air. You can try lighting the fat on fire, but be careful. A lit flame and gaseous fat can make an explosive combination. I hope my community pardons me. Boah. <laughs> Number 12, there has been no scientific proof to back up the loudness of a fat to its resultant smell or less smell or voiceless fat that produces huge stinky smell. You can fund the research if you really want to know. Number 13, beans makes your fat gasser. Okay, so when you eat beans, so much of it, you will toot. I mean, you fart. In Germany, you cannot fart at a police station. In 2016, a fatter, someone who fat a lot, who showed up at the Berlin police station for identification he floated as in he released that gas and then the police perceived one of the policemen perceived it and it was fined 900 heroes for disrespecting the law enforcement isn't that crazy number 15 one boss by the name greg shot a supervisor in an engineering firm in australia was sued by david hinks a former employee who claimed that his boss bullied him continuously between May 2018 and April 2019. All through the period that he worked for the company, Hinks sued him 1.8 million Australian dollar, which is equivalent to 1.3 million dollars just for farting. Oh my goodness. Gerard Ford. The 38th president of USC would let out a toot, would let out that stinky gas and regularly blame it on one of his secret service agents, very loudly saying, Jesus, what was that you? Can't you show some class? <laughs> Number 17, Farin can be fetish. Case study including a 2013 paper in the archives of sexual behavior has been reading about individuals who are aroused by flatulence farting this process is known as the eprochistophilia 
okay so couples could get aroused by just farting never see number 18 never see farting as a shameful function of the body because the day humans cease to fat they die of toxin number 19 fat jokes are timeless female fats even less than male 20 fat is always also described as anus wind or toot also you don't fat as much as you think you do because if you come in contact with someone else who fat you will be wild because the more you think you can fart someone else is a king of fat how about that the complete fat produced by a man in one day can inflate a balloon <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Number 22. The more you fat, the healthier you are. It is a natural occurrence and it shows byproducts of a digestive system at work. 23. Human fat more even when you are asleep. Are you for real? 24. Women have much smelly fat than the guys because they have more level of hydrogen sulfide. Ta da! Oh, we men. Oh, we men. <laughs> Number 25. Recent research in animal suggests that hydrogen sulfide, one of the components of smelly gas, the one that gives that rotten egg smell, provides even some health benefits in humans, preventing heart disease or kidney failures. Are you for real? Oh my God, I can't help but laugh. <laughs> Number 26, fatten tells us a lot about your digestive health. If you are not fatting enough, see a doctor to understand why and how to get things moving better in your digestive system. Number 27, farting constantly means that you are eating complex carbohydrate. 28, a diet rich in legumes, vegetables, fruits, whole grains, nuts, and seed has been associated with health benefits and a healthy amount of flatulence can, in, can be indicative of this. Number 29. If your fat or your gas is heavy regularly and often has foul smell, it may indicate that your diet is too rich in protein. <laughs> sugar saturated fat x healthy carbohydrate plant-based fat alcohol okay artificial sweetness sugar broccoli or balanced diet <laughs> okay difficulty spursing gas painful bloating or foul smelling gas may indicate food intolerance so when you have these indications if you have this um, um, symptoms it simply means that maybe you're taking in something your body does not want number 30 only one percent of uh, your fart activity only one percent of your fart actually smells most people fart 14 to 22 times in a day i have come to the end of today's video i'd like you to leave a comment below let us talk let's interact what have you gained what are your observations about your farts, about your mess, about this flatulence, okay? And I will be back on my next video tomorrow being Friday. And remember, I have three wonderful topics I will be talking about. I'll be teaching, I'll be discussing tomorrow. And our next videos will be on one relationship, how to win his heart back. And how to win her heart back. It will be a two-in-one video, how to win his heart back and how to win her heart back, okay? That video is for people who might have broken up or having challenges in the relationship or those who want to have their ex back to their lives. Number two, I will be running a wonderful video for educators. If you're an educator, say hooray! Yes, 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 I'm excited. I'm an educator. Da, da, da. So I'll be running a video for educators tomorrow. Okay, by the grace of God. And the title will be Teacher's Pep Talk. Things that a top-notch teacher should know and should have to market yourself and make you stand out. Then number three, I'll be running a video on grace. Divine favor of God. Divine favor of God, part two. 
please i'd like you to go check out all the videos we have more than 30 videos right now compilation of comedy education and lifestyle please i'd like you to love my video like it thumbs up turn on the notification button and please share it's important that you share i'm gonna do all that i can do with my little partner baby wealth mm, sorry i think i should correct myself with my great partner baby wealth and we'll be doing all that we can to give you all that we have i mean all that we have gained all that we have gathered thank you very much for being my audience and remember i'll do all that i need to do to improve myself and to get better and you do all that you can do to scratch my back and to encourage me thank you very much if you like my video just thumbs up share subscribe and turn on the notification bell don't forget to share bye for now Mwah.